Manny Peleg is a widower and he goes backpacking in South America because he can't stand staying anymore in the place that his wife uh, was living. He misses her too much. So he's backpacking at the age of 65 and he disappears. His son Dory is out to look for him and uh, this is a journey book. The journey of Dory uh, looking for his father and meeting a lot of people on the way and maybe changing his life and also he's going to be surprised from what he's going to find about his father. So Los Despinos Invisibles, um, for example, when Dory is looking, uh, is going on a journey, he is looking for his father. He doesn't know that he is looking for love. It's a destino invisible. He doesn't think that he's looking for love, but he's going to find love. So sometimes you find things that you don't, didn't even know that you are looking for. I think usually uh, we think about the life we could have lived. We spend a lot of time thinking about lost chances. Uh, but in this book, the characters not only think about it, they actually get an opportunity to experience the alternative life. And the question is, after you experience the alternative life, can, can you come back to your real life? How can you come back to your real life? Is it possible? Um, and this is what was fascinating to me while I was writing the book. First of all, I admit, I, I admit of being a romantic. Uh, and I think it's the first book of mine that I'm writing about a beginning of a love story. Usually, other books of mine I was writing about the end, the, the endings of love stories, or maybe missing uh, a love story, a love story that could have happened but didn't happen. This book, it's the beginning of a love story. It's a, a maybe a love story that will change the life of the characters. And I, it was, it was a lot of, uh, it was very uh, interesting for me trying to write the first moments, the, this very uh, delicate way in, wi in which people get close to each other. And of course, it's complicated. They're not just two people. She has a boyfriend, he's married, and which makes it uh, even more uh, interesting. A mí me gusta los viajes. A mí, para mí, eh, es, es, it's a necessity in life to travel. I cannot live without traveling. I started writing because of my uh, post-army journey to South America. Creativity and traveling is connected in my soul. And it's always an opportunity to have a perspective on your life, to understand, even now, here in Spain, I'm just, I'm spending only one day here. I already got a little bit of a perspective of my day-to-day -day life uh, back, back home. So this is what a journey is for me, an opportunity to get out of your safety zone and understand things differently. I think, uh, first of all, the connection between fathers and sons is always complicated. I have, I would say, I have a four or five close friends in Israel that we, are, we grew up together. E everyone, uh, when I think of their relationships with their fathers, everyone has an issue. And in the case of uh, Los Destinos Invisibles, though he has a very rare opportunity to discover the secret life of his father. We, uh, our, our parents, and I'm, I'm a parent myself, they have secret lives. The children don't know any, everything about the lives of their parents. And when Dory is looking for his father, he finds, and in, in this sense, it's like a thriller, the book, because he finds clue after clue after clue. What was his father really about? What was his father hiding from him throughout his childhood? So it's also a book about the secret life of, of parents. The two main feminine characters in this book, I have uh, 
a special relationship with them uh, as, as a writer. Uh, in Baal, um, is in, in many ways, she's, she's me. I feel closer to her than to any other uh, male character in the book. Uh, she, a lot of my, or some of my autobiography is in her, uh, in her character. And Lily, the grandmother, is actually based on my own grandmother, um, who died during this, the writing process of this book. And the book, the book is dedicated to her. Um, the, de the dedication goes like this: Ani abuela pracha frischberg, sino biese venido de aya, yono estaria aki. And uh, the character of Grandma Lily is actually based on my grandmother and the journey she did from Poland to Israel. And so I feel very close to the, the, the character of Grandma Lily. And when this book came out in Poland, in Warsaw, it was very emotional for me to, to talk about it in the same place that she grew up. And there's the character of Inbar, which, which is in, in, in many ways, sh she is me. And nobody knows it. Uh, I, I feel I can talk about it here in Spain, uh, but I would never admit it in Israel. But in many ways, she is me. I put a lot of my autobiography in her, in her character, her childhood, her conflicts. I, I know them intimately. Uh, so specifically in this book, the feminine characters are, are very close to me.